Now, Nairobi Governor Dr. Evans Kidero has threatened to auction broadcasting house the home of Kenya Broadcasting Corporation, KBC. Of course, this is after KBC failed to pay 900 million in land rates. The home of the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation and nine other buildings risk being auctioned. This comes just a day after the amnesty period granted by the Nairobi County expires. The 85-year-old state-run corporation has a 900 million shilling debt in unpaid land rates. Other organizations which have defaulted land rate payment include the Kenya Airports Authority, which owes the county 153 million shillings, and the Kenya Revenue Authority, which owes 146 million shillings. Kenya Sports Stadia owes the council 252 million shillings, while the pensions fund is yet to pay 302 million shillings. Kenya Broadcasting Corporation owes, owes us 900 million shillings. Uh, the, 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 uh, the, the KBC site rates have not been paid for a long time, so that's one of the ones that we are going, uh, we, we will uh, sell. The unpaid land rates amount to 47 billion shillings, which the governor says they inherited from the Nairobi City Council. So far, only 500 million shillings has been collected in the one-month campaign, which had a target of collecting at least 15 billion shillings. The interests have been running at probably twice the amount of rates that is out of the 47 billion. Interest was 30 billion. The governor reiterated that the amnesty period will not be extended after the next 24 hours. Legal action, which meant auctioning, will be taken next week against everyone who has defaulted in order to recover the money. Meanwhile, the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Chair Mumo Matemu toured Kisumu to examine strategies to contain corruption. He says that corruption has been taken to the grassroots. We would go to some places and find very good records about uh, uh, corruption risk assessment. Reports upon reports, very well kept. But you find, again, corruption abounds in the same institution. Najma Ismail, KTN Prime.